All right, this one's going to be on Google Text-to-Speech from uh, the command line. So someone asked me, like I was doing, was that the Google Translate CLI last time? And someone asked me if I can do Text-to-Speech. And actually you could. Uh, there was this code on the command line foo.com for a while. But it's called say, right? I fixed it up a little bit to my liking. So if I type say, and then what voice do I want it to be in? So if I want it to be in English, I type en. And then I do... Um, Oh, what was that? Uh, type in come with me or any phrase you want. Come with me. And I'll say in that language, um, you know, just that. There's no translation at all because if you do the same thing and let's say you want a, uh, what is that, Spanish voice? Call me with me. Right. Or just try to pronounce it in that, uh, you know, uh, Spanish voice. Same thing if you do, what was that? Uh, FR. Right, I'll just try to say that. So that's is just the voice. It doesn't actually translate. Now, if you do say uh, translation, which is another function I, I uh, wrote, um, and it basically it uses that Google Translate CLI that I talked about last time, but it'll translate it and it'll say it in that language. Okay. So if I do, let's say, for example, um, ES for Spanish, and I type come with me basically what it's gonna do is that it's gonna translate uh, this word or this phrase I mean in uh, Spanish and I'll say it in a Spanish voice also right so let's do this here ven conmigo right it says ven conmigo which means come with me the reason I know that because I had this fucking Spanish book uh, which I hate and it was called ven conmigo <laughs> uh, but if you can do that uh, with you know any other language in here let me see here like uh, in French. Viens avec moi. Not sure if that's correct, but there you go. Uh, it doesn't have to be in English. You can type it in any language that uh, you want. So let's say, um, you know, this one here. It doesn't have to be, you know, written in English. It can be written in Spanish. So let's say we do Van Conmigo. Viens avec moi. And it, it sends it to, uh, you know, French there. And uh, you can do that for see here oops that's not it like in English uh, from Spanish you can go to English come with me right it'll just translate it uh, like that now as far as accuracy that just depends on Google it has nothing to do with me uh, so that's the two functions so one of them is with the functions and what that? that one is called say right and this one just uses M player and it plays uh, whatever audio um, that it gets from Google that we translated. And the other one, what was that? Say translation. Right, this is like another um, function I wrote. It's just, uh, you know, you get the language and it uses that uh, Google Translate CLI um, program that I talked about last time. Post you a link in the description if you missed that one. But basically, it uses that command. It'll translate the word and it'll pass it back into. Um, was that M player and they'll play the you know the audio and, and that's what we did up here for the translation right now as far as if you want some other languages um, what the hell was that thing called translate code All right just go to oh shoot I forgot what was that site translate oh that's not it it's a language code there you go. This is the site. I'll post you a link in the description for this site too. But basically, you want the the language code, right? Um, that we did before, like you know, English is en. Uh, if you want to do like Danish is da, and so on and so forth uh, for Chinese and, and and all these other ones. So those are the language code. Post you that in the description also, and that's how you would use it. That'll be it for this one.